Hello, this is Joshua for Frost Dragon Designs, and today I'd like to talk to you about my forensic science cat, Hard Enamel Pin. This pin is part of my More Cats Doing Science collection. The More Cats Doing Science pin collection features more than 35 designs of cats doing science and science adjacent activities. Now let's get into the design. The forensic science cat, like many of the other designs for More Cats Doing Science, started as a request that I got on Instagram. People saw some of my original science cat pins that I released last year, and they were commenting, oh, do this type of science, do that type of science. And one that particularly stood out to me was forensic science. Now, I'm not personally into the whole true crime kind of thing, but I know that it's very popular. I know a lot of people like it. And in my time, I have seen a fair number of episodes of, you know, CSI and uh, Law and & Order and all those other shows. And so I figured this would be a good design to do for more cats doing science. Um, and my first thought with this, honestly, was, you know, a knife cat, because I've seen lots of other takes on knife cat. It was a very popular meme on the internet. I'm sure you've probably seen something about it. And so that was my first thought. But then, I, you know, I kind of didn't like the connotation there, because um, my first thought was, you know, either just a knife or, you know, like a bloody knife. And I kind of wanted this to be a bit more of a, a wholesome campaign overall. Now, that doesn't mean that I am not going to do a knife cat at some point in the future, especially if this is very popular and people want more forensic science cats. I could see myself expanding a little bit and, you know, a knife cat is possible. So then I started thinking, what else could I do that would really feel like forensic science? And at first, I think I did a sketch with like a cat examining a skull um, I didn't quite like that, and then I thought, well, maybe they had, like, a magnifying glass, and they were, like, looking at footprints or something, um, and then as I was thinking about that, I got it in my head, wouldn't it be cool if they were doing something with a black light, and, like, the footprints were, like, lighting up or something, um, but I don't know terribly much about the actual use of black lights uh, in forensics. So, I, you know, I hopped on the old internet and I think I went to Reddit and a couple other places and I, I posted a bunch of random questions. You know, and I think these communities are kind of used to that from authors and wannabe authors who are trying to get things correct. So I don't think they terribly mind me asking these questions. Um, but anyway, what, what I basically came out with after that was, you know, if we're going to be doing a black light, um, it's probably some sort of biological, um, stain that we're looking at. So footprints may have worked. It may not have worked, but I got it in my head that maybe we were trying to find some sort of, uh, a stain in, uh, you know, something soft, like a, a rug or a piece of clothing or something of that nature. And so the whole design then came to revolve around this mystery stain. Is it blood? Is it cat pee who knows it's something it's some sort of a biological specimen you know one thing i learned is that pretty much any sort of uh, biological residue like this there's stuff that they can spray on it or spray in a room uh and use a black light to try and find these um residual markings on things and they, they'll glow with this stuff that they spray on it um but they can also wear certain colors of glasses to help that glow stand out more especially if it's a faint sort of uh residue that's left um and i really liked the idea of the stain itself glowing so that that light green color on this pin design is actually going to be glow in the dark which i think is is kind of fun and i think at about this point overall i was really happy with how the design looked but i kind of wanted a pop of another color to really just kind of give it a good little punch. The the orange for the glasses was too far away from that big mass of purple for it to really help balance it out. Um, and then eventually I got the idea of one of those little those little tent cards that are I often see them as yellow that have like a number for like it you know this is piece of evidence number seven or whatever. Um, and I thought you know that would be a good opportunity to add another thing that's not purple to help balance out that big mass of purple that's in this design. And it was just great because as soon as I finished that and made it yellow, the whole design just felt like it, it finished it itself and it was balanced. And that's really important to me that a design is visually balanced. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed watching me design this pin. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about my thoughts that I had as I was creating it. Um, 
If you did, please go ahead, like, and subscribe this video. I try to put out, you know, one or two videos a week of pins that I've designed, and I would absolutely love to have you along for the next one. Thank you so much for your time, and have a great rest of your day.